Well, some families in Dallas are doing their best to take back their neighborhood. With old, boarded up homes on nearly every corner, residents are hoping for a change. Today, they got some much needed help from Habitat for Humanity to help turn things around. This is a welcome sound in this Oak Cliff neighborhood. It's a bulldozer tearing away the old and ugly, making room for the new and improved. People can come in and, you know, reclaim the community. James Fury is glad to see the eyesores in his neighborhood wiped clean. It's all part of Dallas Area Habitat for Humanity's Fight the Blight initiative. It was empty. Uh, the windows were boarded up. It was really an unproductive structure. Through the program, Habitat pledged to tear down 25 rundown structures. Three were targeted in this neighborhood alone. In this neighborhood, Oak Cliff Gardens, which is about a third of a, of a square mile, there are 59 dilapidated properties. Corporate sponsor Pioneer Natural Resources donated $1.5 million to spruce up homes in the area and also build new ones. Fury, who lives across the street from the teardowns, is grateful to Habitat for its work, which he says has truly made a difference in his family's quality of life. I feel a lot better if they turn into a home, so that way, uh, it'll, you know, it'll enrich the community and somebody have the opportunity to be a homeowner, and it'll make it safer for the community. In addition to the new homes, Dallas Habitat is working with Brent Ryan and the University of North Texas at Dallas to build a community center. Habitat for Humanity tore down two more abandoned houses in Oak Cliff. The Fight the Blight initiative started last year, and since then, volunteers have already torn down 11 houses, with another still to come. Neighborhood leaders say tearing down those abandoned houses helps Oak Cliff rebuild. Blighted properties can be a huge drag on neighborhoods. Taxpayers spend millions cleaning them up, which makes even one tear down something neighbors celebrate. It's a big target. But volunteers took a swing today at knocking down blight. Habitat for Humanity, known for building homes, celebrated taking several down. A sweet moment for longtime neighbors like Beverly Harris. In 1968, Oak Cliff was beautiful country. <laughs> and over the years, it just declined. And now I see that people have interest in bringing it back to its former glory. Recently, the nonprofit has been focusing on demolishing problem homes, bulldozing 12 in the past nine months. And there are some neighborhoods in Dallas that simply can't move forward until we get rid of the rundown eyesores like the one that is behind these gentlemen. Dallas spends $5 million a year just mowing the grass of abandoned properties. Blight has been a major focus for city leaders who admit pain for teardowns can be difficult. It's time to take care of and get rid of the blight, get rid of the crime, bring in the hope and restore the family. Habitat plans to replace the eyesores with new homes. Harrison is happy enough with just an empty lot for now. It's just better all around. Habitat for Humanity tore down two homes today, but it hopes to bulldoze a dozen more.